Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to do a dancer's full body workout and this has been inspired by ballet bar which is an exercise technique where we focus on isometric holds and small movements and this workout will help you tone up and become stronger you will need a pair of light tumbles i'm using one kg which is about two two and a half pounds you can use whatever you are comfortable with and we are going to start with a 30 second warm up then we are going to move on to the arm section followed by the chest and back section and then we are going to do abs followed by thighs and towards the end of the video we are going to do glutes and then stretch it out each section is five minutes long so this workout is going to be about anywhere between i would say 28 to 30 minutes so let's get started i'm going to put on the timer and then we'll begin so we'll start with the warm-up and we're just going to raise our hands up and down and that's all we are going to be doing so alternate hand and leg right hand goes up left leg comes up this will warm our legs our core our arms so that we are ready for the next section which is arms for that section you will need a light pair of dumbbells keep going keep breathing all right time for the arm section pick up your dumbbells and the first movement is going to work our biceps so we're just gonna keep our arms forward and pulse it's just arms slightly bent at the elbow not totally straight slightly bent and just pulsing keep going so we have five moves for the arms and shoulders and each move is about a minute long so keep going this is great for the biceps it's lightweight but you'll start to feel the burn keep going next up is triceps small movements but they work all right rest next up triceps so we're just going to do a tricep kick back in this position and straighten and back in straighten and back in that's it so you'll feel the back of the arms activate put intention in the muscle and squeeze as you take your hands back squeeze and don't swing your arms make sure you stop at the hip controlled slow movements keep going i'm feeling my arms next up we'll do shoulders this is our second exercise three more minutes for this section all right next up is shoulders so we're going to keep our arms here and then up up down down that's all there is to it your shoulders are getting activated with this again maintain control and keep going it's non-stop this workout is non-stop it's going to test the endurance of your muscles it's going to help build the endurance of your muscles keep going two more moves two more minutes and then we're on to our back and chest section keep breathing keep breathing are you feeling the burn on your shoulders because i am all right that's why the light weights begin to add up okay next up we are going to do another bicep exercise again arms forward and we're just going to bend and straighten bend and straighten now this move is for the biceps it will also activate your shoulders a little bit and the one kg weight or the two pound weight 
will begin to creep in it will begin to add up and that's because we are doing the curl in this position so your biceps feeling worked out mine <laughs> keep going one more mi minute after this one more move and then we're on to the chest and back the next move is a shoulder move keep going are you feeling your arms all right rest shake it out last move for the arms arms at 90 degrees like this and just pulse up and down an inch that's all we are doing you'll begin to feel your shoulders get activated just up and down an inch this will also activate a little bit of your back make sure your abs are tucked in make sure your knees are slightly bent chest is open shoulders are down and breathe i know it feels it feels like it's burning i know <laughs> my arms are burning too but keep going keep going don't give up don't give up we're almost done with this section next up is back and chest so keep going and then we have some abs all right we're almost done we've made it yes we've made it all right shake it out for a minute you will still need your dumbbells and what we are going to do is we're going to bend forward knees are slightly bent and we're going to keep the back straight not like this straight and we're just going to pull and straighten when you pull squeeze your upper back try to squeeze a pencil in between your back like you're holding a pencil as you come up keep going this is for the back we are in the back section now back and chest we're going to be here for another four minutes or so so keep going so when we work continuously with light weights it begins to add up right these weights don't feel that light anymore do they <laughs> all right keep going keep going don't give up put the intention in the back muscles and rest rest it out for a moment next up what we're going to do is we are going to be in this position and right hand goes back back left now we're going to alternate right left right left again this is for the upper back keep going the burn should be getting in there by now keep going you can do this so stretch back stretch back stretch back pick up the pace yeah keep your abs in back straight knees bent chest open shoulders down and keep going keep going next up we just have slight pulsing so i promise it'll get easier there we go rest it out for a moment again same position we're just going to hold here and we're going to pulse an inch back 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 movement is small but you'll feel your back muscles you'll feel them activate keep going this will help you with your posture this will help you with a lot of things my back is totally activated by now keep going just an inch back 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 we'll be here for a few more seconds and then we are going to go down to the mat so get ready to leave your dumbbells on the floor after this one and you will not need them after this keep going now if you want to take breaks i would recommend taking a break once we finish a section pausing the video taking a break and then getting back into it rest put your dumbbells on the floor now we are going to get into an all fours position and here right hand left leg back left hand right leg back keep going this will work your back muscles 
This will work your balance. You're getting a little bit of your glutes as well. Keep your abs tucked in. Pay attention to your form. After this, we have the last exercise for this section. We're already two sections done, almost, right? Next up is push-ups. You can do those on the knees or with your knees up. Whatever you prefer. Keep going. We're almost there. All right, rest it out for a moment. Shake it out. Push-up position on the knees or knees up. It's up to you. I'm going to do them on the knees and slow and back. Slow and back. Slow. Doing it slow is actually harder than doing it fast. Feel, feel it. Feel it in your chest. Feel the strength building in your chest. Feel the muscles tightening in your chest. As you do this, if you need to take a break, do so. But jump back into it. Keep going. Keep your abs in. And if you're doing this on the knees, that's awesome. All right. We're almost there, right? This is the last exercise of this section. So don't give up. You can pause the video and take a break after this. All right. So that was our back and chest section. And next up is abs. We are going to begin abs with a plank hold. So just holding in this position. And it's less than a minute now. So five minutes of abs for that tight core and plank is a great exercise. It's an isometric hold. We're squeezing the muscles. We're tightening them in place. We're not moving them, but it's hard, but it also gets results. So keep going. I'm shaking. <laughs> I know it looks easy, but it's not an easy one. A lot of strength is required. Keep going. If you need to take a break, Take a break, back up. You can do that as many times as you want. Rest. All right, no more planks, no more planks. I promise. Next up is crunches. Let's get on our backs and let's start with arms behind the head and just up and down, up and down. Keep going. Squeeze your abs as you come up and then release. Squeeze, release. Exhale on the top, inhale as you go down. Exhale and squeeze, inhale and relax. Exhale and squeeze, inhale and relax. Continue. We have three more minutes of abs and then we're on to the thigh section. All right, rest it out for a moment. Don't let go of your hands, keep them behind your head. We're just resting for a moment here and then we are going to get into the crunch position. No coming down now. Just an inch up and down in a contracted position. So this is hard, I know. Don't release, don't release the contraction in your abs. Just an inch up and down in a contracted position. You'll feel your abs activate. You'll feel them tighten. Keep going. Keep breathing. If you need to rest for a moment, come on down. Rest and go back up, right? Keep going. Small pulses. This will really help you tighten those abs. Chisel them out, rest. Rest it out for a moment. Now we are going to get on our elbows and focus a little bit on the lower abs and the obliques. So what we're going to do is on your elbows, bicycle. That's it, that's all we have to do. 
and then we are on to our last exercise for abs so this is a great move for your lower abs for your obliques keep going keep going we have one more after this that's all stay with me stay with me we've done our arms shoulders chest back and now abs we're left with thighs and glutes and a little bit of stretching so this is a great workout that you can do quite often every day if you like rest rest for a moment come on down rest and what we're going to do is we're going to come on our elbows and we're going to straighten our legs and we're going to hold for 10 seconds hold 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 rest we're going to go again so get ready in now 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 one rest rest it out for a moment we're going to do this again so get ready 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 rest we're going to try to okay that's it for abs now we are going to get into our thigh section and we're going to start with our inner thighs so come on down to your right elbow lift your left leg up high and bring your right leg in to meet it and keep going in and out and in and out keep going this is great for the inner thighs i know this is not easy but it's going to get you those toned inner thighs so keep going in and out go at your own pace but keep going in out in out in out keep going we're almost there another 10 12 seconds to go and we're almost there so continue keep going and we're going to switch sides very soon we're going to change sides so on your left left hand now right leg goes up and what we're going to do is bring the left leg up and down you should feel this in your inner thighs so we are already almost 2 minutes into the thigh section we've covered most of the workout believe it or not only about 8 minutes of working out and then about 2 to 3 minutes of stretching So you're there. Don't give up. Don't give up. Keep going. We're almost there. So next up, we're going to do wide squats, standing up, right? So this is the last thigh exercise on the floor. All right, relax. Stand on up. Shake it out for a minute. I know, I know. Okay. So wide squat position, and we're just gonna go down and up, down and up. This is great for the inner thighs, great for the outer thighs, great for the legs in general. So slow and controlled. Feel it. Feel the stretch in your inner thighs as you go down, and squeeze your glutes as you come up. Stretch and squeeze. stretch and squeeze keep going we have 2 minutes of thighs that's all we have left after this no jumping low impact full body in less than 30 minutes okay rest it out for a minute and what we're going to do is get into the wide squat position and here we are just going to pulse up and down an inch so this will really burn out those thighs 
up and down an inch. That's all. That's all we're doing. So you should feel the burn all through the inner thighs, all through the outer thighs. Keep going. It's not easy, I know. If you need to rest, come on up for a moment. Back down. So when we come up, we release the contraction, right? But when we are pulsing like this, the contraction is there all the time. That's why it's not easy to pulse. That's why it's hot. My thighs are burning. So come on up, rest it out, back down. Keep going. So when you need a break, all you need to do is come on up. So come on up and down. All right. Next up, last exercise, last move for the thighs, and then we're on to the glute section. So what we are going to do here is an isometric hold in a squat position. So let's get down and just hold here. Okay, we are going to take breaks because I realize a minute of this is really, really hard. <laughs> so just hold in a squat position. You can widen out your feet a little bit if that's more comfortable for you. It is for me, hold. We'll come up for a break in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, rest. We're gonna go back down and hold again. Hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Okay, rest. You should be very proud of yourself. That was not easy. Now we are going to do the glutes. So down on the mat. I'm going to start with the right leg. Straight, as straight as it can be. Lengthen your muscles and up and down. Point your toes. Make sure your hips are squared. Right, don't open your hips like this, square. And up and down. So this will work the back of the legs, the glutes. We're going to be here on the right side for a minute and then switch legs, move on to the left leg and then we'll move on to the next exercise. So we've almost made it, right? This is the last section. We've made it. So don't give up. The back of the legs, the glutes should be on fire. All right, rest. Let's change legs. Left leg goes back, straighten it out. Point your toe up, down. Make sure your hips are square. Don't open them like this. Square them up and down. So when you're holding in this position, you're also working your shoulders, right? So it's a lot going on right now. You're working your glutes, you're working your abs. Keep your abs tucked in. You're working your shoulders. Keep going. Tighten your leg muscles, squeeze them, stretch them out. The more intention you put into this workout, the better the results, right? Keep going. We're going to move on to our right leg next. Keep going. All right, rest for a moment. Shake out your arms. Back in this position. What we are going to do is with a flexed foot, we're going to kick, bring it back in and open, right? Kick, in, open, back. Kick, in, open, back. Take it a little faster. Kick, in, open, back. Kick, in, open, back. Keep going. Few more seconds here, and then we switch to the left leg. Right, last two minutes of the workout. Don't give up, stay with me. So we worked the full body, just a last few seconds, last few minutes. So stay with me, don't give up. We're going to change legs very, very soon, I promise. There we go. So same thing with the left leg. Flex your foot, kick, open, kick, open, kick, 
Open, let's take it faster. Kick, open, kick, open. Keep going. You'll feel this in your glutes, you'll feel this in the outer thighs, outer hips. This will help you lean out, it'll help you make those muscles stronger. Keep going. We have one last exercise after this and then we get to stretch, so keep going. Rest. So last exercise, we are gonna be on our back and we're just gonna do a glute bridge. Up, squeeze your glutes and down. That's it. That's all we need to do. Up, squeeze, down. Go at your own pace. And then we get to stretch. Keep going. I don't know if I'm falling off the mat now or not. Keep going. Squeeze, back down. Squeeze, back down. Slow and control. Rest and we're done. We are done with the workout and now we are going to stretch a little bit. So we'll start with the right leg forward, all right? And we are going to stretch it out here or come on down and stretch. Hold this position. Now we are going to lift the left leg up. Hold, hold here. All right, put it back down. Now, with our right hand, we are going to grab left foot and pull. This will open up the quadriceps. Just hold here and breathe. All right, back into this position and we're going to try to touch our head to the knee. Hold. Okay. Now we are going to change legs. So right leg goes back, left leg forward, and just hold in this position. I'm gonna lift up the leg, stretch it out, back down. Now with the left hand, grab your right foot and pull. Pull it in, feel the quadriceps stretch. And breathe, keep breathing. All right, back. Okay, release. We are going to come into a butterfly position here and try to bend forward. From here, out into a wide straddle position and we are going to try to bend over to the right side. Release onto the left side. Back. Now we are going to try to bend forward. Go as much as you can. Release. Bring your feet together and we are going to bend forward. Hands up, forward. Rest. So that was our about 30 minute, 28 minute or so bar based dancers, full body workout. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye.